Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. It's amazing this place, isn't it? Craig is here. It's amazing. Shaka is here. You know, you're... Some days I come in, right, a bit under the weather. Right. Oh, you didn't say much. Ah, you didn't say much today. You must be in a mood. Right, well, right. normally that's justified, actually, to be All fair. All right, that's every day. <laughs> yes. This job's about talking, right? Yes. Today I'm talking, he's moaning I'm talking. I just say you're talking a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious, I am befuddled and bemused. Ah. Which way you want me to go here? Oh, dear me. Uh, should, we, let's, uh, should we do the Stevie story first? Yeah. There was a meeting today, which me and Craig didn't attend, but you did. Big meeting. Anyway, blue. that was the thing, because when we got the email yesterday, <laughs> I, I, what, the email hadn't even dropped through in my ESPN email, and I had hit the decline right, button. But Shaka being a good worker, a good professional. Corporate man. Exactly. Yes. However, yes. one other gentleman signed on. I don't know yes. what Stevie was even doing on the meeting. I, after, I, was, I was shocked to see Stevie on there. Right. Yeah. But Stevie, being Stevie, yes, not the best with technology, leaves his video and mic on. Right, dangerous. All right. dangerous. Some people do that during big meetings. But as often happens during these Zoom meetings, you have another device on the side. <laughs> right. <laughs> as a, as some, some form of distraction during said meeting. Stevie pulls up YouTube and is watching Jurgen Klopp interviews with the volume on, yeah. while his video and volume are on, this big, important work meeting. Lovely. So it's coming all the way through. Everybody so heard it. Everybody knows. But how did they know it was Stevie? <laughs> because, well, you know, when when yours, your, yours is the main voice, yes. your box kind of oh, lights up. Your box up, pops up. Or, or you, you come front <laughs> to the, the screen. light flashing. So, so every time... Every, <laughs> The bosses would take a little breather just right. to catch their breath, yeah. and then up would pop Stevie. First of all, he's sitting back in his chair, a cup of tea. Has he got his dressing gown on? No, no, oh, no, thank yeah. you, no, no. Um, Jurgen Klopp on in the background. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, it was the. I, so I know, but now I'm texting Stevie. Yeah. I'm like, Stevie, mute your mic at least. <laughs> but no, he's. He's using his phone for other things yeah, of course. at this point. And he had to be called out eventually. The bosses had to call him out. Brilliant. Stevie, can you mute your mic, please? And did he manage to do he, that? He didn't, he didn't manage I have to, to say, to this is, the, it is rather amazing. That this could have taken several tons a yeah. lot worse. Most yeah. definitely, oh, oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, and then, that's anyway, if we're wondering why, uh, why Shaka logged on. Right. It's, it's obvious. Oh, because the meeting the was me about how to book vacations. The meeting was about holiday time. Yeah, so and therefore, no man the king of holidays. This company, and I don't want to belittle his grafting ability. Okay. That's why he's getting... No man yeah. knows vacation time off better than him. Yeah, most definitely. Factual. Yeah, and being at the meeting, that's a day. <laughs> <laughs> Take that off. But anyway, <laughs> right, to the questions. We, anyway, we... Uh, what is one thing you miss doing during your playing days, Craig? Miss doing? I don't miss playing. I was ready to, I was more than ready to finish when I finished. Body was wrecked. The one thing I miss, if I was to miss anything, is the camaraderie in the dressing room. Right. You know, when I left Chelsea after 10 years, it was quite, it was, actually it was quite emotional to leave, the, not leave, not so much the club. When I walked out of that dressing room, when I went to get my boots and all my stuff and I walked out, I'd been with most of those guys, not them all, but I'd been with them a decade. Some of them I'd came through the youth team with. And I never ever felt I would get that rapport again, but I was wrong because I walked into an even better dressing room at Celtic. And the fun, as well as the success we had, but the fun we had. Yeah. Walking in, you, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was a privilege to go in in the morning and get stick and give it back and just have all that. But that, you can never really. You know, with yeah. 20, 20 odd guys, you can never really replicate that. That seems to be something that everybody tells me when I'm yeah. but it's not necessarily what happens on the pitch. It's the camaraderie yeah. between everybody off. And, and I, I tend to rely on that. You rely on that understanding um, be, between players, and that, that's a big part. That's a big part of, of successful teams. You, you, you are able to relate with each other, and I know not everybody gets along all the time. There's a mutual understanding, and. and you have a lot of fun on and off the park, and, and yeah, that's that's the part that I think most players would say say they they, they miss. You know, I, I mean, I I just kind of I didn't have to retire through injury. You know, so it was my own decision, um, and and so playing was not. It, it become it become tough to uh, to, to the end. You right. know? And, and 
So, but that is the one part of, of the game that, yeah, you, you really do. But you know when you know you've got a good dressing room, when you can have that friendship and banter and camaraderie and, 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 and deal with the pressure that you know is coming up every weekend and yet still have a massive rock. If right. it, if, no, if it's needed. Okay. I don't mean just a fight for the... I mean, still have on a Saturday or in training... You could fall out with, you, with two or three of the guys that you go for a drink with, and it's heated, and I'm not very often it was physical, but it's verbal, but yet it makes you stronger. Right. And then you put that to the side because everybody's friends, and everybody, that's, that's telling you that everybody wants the same. It's when you don't get upset and you just let things brush over mm -hmm. that you start thinking, does he, does he really care? Does he care? So it, when you can have that, and there's always, we didn't have it at Celtic, we did in the end, when Berkovic and one or two others come in. There are, there are always some players when when push comes to shove, they think you're, not me, but as a group, you don't like them. But luckily, most of the time we had was, you know, guys going, you know, nose to nose with each other, shouting, and then it was it was gone. You know, the other thing, you hear a lot of times in dressing rooms, there are different cliques. Yes. For whatever reason. And when you have a big group, um, that, that go all together and, and have that camaraderie, you, you don't find those cliques. Okay. Because that's, that comes with, you know, spending social time together. And, and probably the best example of that for me was, was my time at Newcastle. We'd go out, we'd go out quite a lot, but it'd be 30 of us. It would be the young players right. through to the most senior pros. Yes. And nobody was bigger or better than the other person. Everybody would get stake, everybody would give stake. I, it, it, it really was, and, and so it was great. So then when you have young players coming through, um, because they'd been a they part of... They feel accepted. They, they, yeah, they'd been a part of this, of, of our social groups. So it was it was easier to, for, for them to find their footing on the pitch. You know when we say the foreign players come into, say, English football? When the foreign... The foreign could be wherever in the world or Italy, yeah. and, but it's from these big leagues in Europe, and they always wear... And they wear, they always... They were definitely more professional and they definitely had a different view of how to train and how to look after yourself after training, which is which is across the board now. Everybody's doing it now. But I remember when Zolas and Viales and all these guys came, it was all about gym and doing this before. So they were kind of ahead of it, but they're also smarter in a way than the British player. Because, I'll give you an example. The British guys for the most, and we used to all go out as a group, but every now and again, when the British guys would be out, in Glasgow, and we'd be the disgrace. Right. Because we're... You lost on the Saturday, how can you be out in the nightclub and look at his drinking and blah, blah, blah. They're also doing it. <laughs> but they're up at Big Matt Reaper's house. Right. The Dane. There's Vikost and Larson and <laughs> Blinker and they're all... And they're smoking cigarettes and they're drinking and they're doing all that. But they're, they're clever about it. Right. They're having a good time. They're not in the gutter. <laughs> they're, not in the, they're not in the gutter in Socky Hall Street with a donor kebab in the face. <laughs> with some supporter looking at them going, oh. you're, you're playing in three days. These guys, so it's a different culture. They, and they used to go out as well, not as often as us, because they used to, they always did it yeah. a little bit more discreetly. Right, the British guys, for the most part, they don't even know what the word... Discretion wasn't a strong point. Discretion wasn't yours. Discreet is not in the dictionary when it comes to the 1990s night out. Yes. He'll know that better than anybody. There we go. Wow. Have That's I just thrown... This is the first question. <laughs> Have I just thrown Reaper and Vika? I hope so. All, uh, all, late. It's all too late those Danish boys. Ask Shaka how Newcastle drew that game. Ridiculous. Seriously, though, why is tugging wrestling in the box called so inconsistently? It was a pen for me, but I've seen similar incidents not given. Um... I, I'll be honest, I can't think of anything that bad not given. I, I thought it was just dumb. It was a layup. It, it was, it was, it was, a, it was really poor. And as, as I said during the show, I just felt, it, it, in, in so many ways, kind of some Newcastle seasons now, dominate the game almost from beginning to end. Yes, Everton had, had a little bit of a spell. Um, you don't make, you don't make your chances count, and then all of a sudden you give up of all, of all the penalties to give up that. And, and, and I just thought. I'll tell you how dumb it is, is. You know when you're playing now, you must think you, you have to second guess yourself now because everyone's got VR. Yeah, everyone's. Yeah. Yeah. So the stuff, that, not so everyone. much. Um, the, 
been a goalkeeper, but the stuff we used to do, and, you know, you're tugging shirts and tripping people up, or, you know, somebody's making a forward run from midfield and they've slightly got the other side of me and the centre halves are, have split. I'm, oh, I'm stick my foot out and trip him up. The ref's not even going to see it. The line, the, the assistant, he's looking for offside. The referees came up with player, trip him up, all that sort of stuff. You just can't do it now. No. So when you're doing this pulling in the box and wrestling in the box, how the hell you think, unless you've got one of these referees that well, has happened, you know, when they just don't want to see it, you're just, in the main, you're not going to get away with it. Jack, which trio of young players is more promising? Jude Bellingham, Camavinga, Endrick for Real Madrid, or Pedri, Gavi and Yamin Lamal for Barcelona? Um, I'd have to go with, with, with Jude Camavinga, Endrick, from, from what, we've seen, what we've seen so far. And, and while, yeah, Endrick is, is a new entity to this, you can't question Jude and, and Camavinga and, and what they've given so far. Um, yeah, do, don't get me wrong, the other three outstanding, but I just... As, as a body of work, the, the, uh -huh. the real what, three. Are... What age is Vinicius? Do we know off the top of my head? I can't know off the top of my head. 20 him. 23. <laughs> I'm going to go for 23. <laughs> 21. No, he's not 20. He's not 23. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting silenced. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, pepperoni. Uh, I think he's. Tw I think he's 20. Is he 20? Okay. Right. What's the point? I don't know. Let's go. Right. I, I'll look it up. You, you right. talk. I'll look it up. Nobody will notice. Right. Why would he not be on that list? Hmm? Oh, I, I tell you what. I'm He's not 23. Gonna... Is he 23? Yes. I knew he was 23. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, right. Let's right. bring this. We'll, we'll edit that bit out. Why don't I bring that up? A uh, question for Craig. <laughs> Do you still feel Manchester City will beat the inform Real Madrid side? Uh, <laughs> inform? Yeah, they're doing well late, aren't they? I'm not as I'm not as convinced as I was last year. Yeah, last year was a blow away. Was it last year? Yeah, it was. Go, last year. Don't want to get yes. anything else wrong. Yes. You know, we get hauled yeah. before some Zoom meeting again. <laughs> <laughs> I have to decline. Uh, yes, it was last year. Uh, I wouldn't be as caught because last year they were not only were they great going forward, for the most part defensively they were rock solid. They're, they're sort of neither of those at the moment. They're somewhere <laughs> in the middle, and I think that gives Real Madrid a pathway over two legs. I still think it's a 60-40 call on, on, on Man City's favour, but not not a not a given, I would say. Uh, let's do quick hits on this one. Will Eddie Howe be managing Newcastle next season? Yes. We talked about that on the show, didn't we? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, there's an echo. Yes. Uh, does Pochettino Another manage echo. Chelsea next season? Yes. <sighs> I mean, we, saw, we had the table up earlier on the show. Is it 11th or 12th? Yeah, 11th. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I suppose there's the uh, FA Cup could be... they got Man City in the semi, I think. Yes. I'm hedging my yes, bets. Yes, they are, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say, <laughs> all right, yes. <laughs> Shaka, being on the show for three consecutive days, does that mean there's a vacation around the corner? Hmm? Was you scheduled to be on the show for three days, or was it just that somebody yeah. mentioned no, it no, no, I'm here. Never I'm turned here. up. No, he scheduled it. I didn't never turn up. I'm, I'm, I'm not in a position to confirm or deny whether there may be a holiday or two coming up. Wow. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but you're only just back. Hmm? Yeah, you, you went carnival, back. Carnival. To carnival. You phoned in sick for a month. You came back with a disease. <laughs> I was sick leave. I was. I was sick. <laughs> that was sick leave. Doesn't count. Back. I won't. All right, I won't go there. See, you came back with something. Yeah. yeah. No. I should have logged into the meeting. No. I'm. No. Oh, I'm. No. I'm good Steve's to go. not available for a couple of days. <laughs> He's having his colonoscopy. Good luck to that, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> it, must, it must be a better way to earn a living. <laughs> Talk about life choices. <laughs> I'm spraying the details. <laughs> but whoever's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they must be wearing a space suit. <laughs> <laughs> An oxygen vest. You know in the room. Do you know when you have the big uh, the uh, the clear what is it that like not you know the clear film the Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yes. You bust through the room and it's <laughs> almost like airtight. Like a horror movie. Yeah, and you come in uh, and like somebody's talking uh, to them from a control room. Uh, <laughs> right, Mr. Nicole. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Don't. I tell you what, whatever the Don't press the red button. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the pain that particular person uh, uh, to do that yes. for him tomorrow. Yeah. It's not enough. Uh, beautiful. Not enough money in the world that that uh. person is entitled to. <laughs> 
Final question. We were talking about ice cream. It's not about colonoscopies, is it? No, it's not about colonoscopies. Shaka, have you ever tried black pepper vanilla ice cream? Black pepper vanilla? No. Oh, yeah. There we go, because yesterday you were championing your yeah. cherry goat's cheese. Go, go, goat's milk and cherry, yeah. And Mario was getting very excited about something. I tell you what. Uh, chocolate and peanut butter, he was. Yes, exactly. I tell you, what, oh, you, you can trough you, you can. Hmm? <laughs> you can trough. You can you. trough. No. You've always got, every time I come in, you've, you're having a nose bug. <laughs> I'm going on a diet. Are you, Shane? Yeah. Wow. Ready for your next vacation? Well, you know. Do you think you need to go on a diet? Right, that's it. We're done. Thank you very much. Well, yes, where, where can I get that black pepper and uh, thingy my bobby? Vanilla. <laughs> I forgot to ask that. <laughs> uh, Don will be with us. Are you here tomorrow? Yeah, I am here tomorrow. Love Are you here as well, you? Present. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh,